Hi everyone, welcome to my new vlog and today I'm going to be talking about the Spider-Man game that was released on PlayStation uh, a few years ago. Uh, and in that respect, basically this vlog is dedicated to my uh, number one fan, William Ruffin, uh, or who I call him as Bill Ruffin. Bill uh, requested uh, that I do a vlog that talks about the various costumes that are available in the Spider-Man game. Of course, uh, some of them have been created for a specific purpose, like the existing costume that we find within the game. It's exclusively for the Spider-Man PlayStation game. Uh, and then you have uh, the classic ones, and some of them were, came out as part of a limited series. So uh, in this vlog, what you're gonna see is that I'll take you through all the costumes and tell you what's the significance of each and every one. Of course, they come with their own gimmicks as part of the games with their special powers and everything. But more importantly, uh, I think thanks to this fan of mine, uh, I came to realize that these costumes tell a greater story than just the gimmicks that come with it. So let's head on to our gaming screen. Yeah, just another update that's needed. And we are in. Nothing beats the classic suit, I always say. Okay now, so as you can see, Spider-Man is wearing his uh, classic suit, the one we all grew up with. Okay in the heart of New York City. This, the purpose of this game is not to uh, go through the gameplay, but rather we explore uh, the options that are available to us in the form of uh, Spider-Man suits. So now, as you can see, uh, the suit that we are looking at is the advanced suit that has come with this game, which is a default suit when you haven't unlocked uh, other ones, you will end up with this uh, suit. So there's no uh, comic book significance about this. Now, this one over here is the classic suit that's battle damaged. We've seen, we've read quite a lot of comic books, especially the ones that involve the Sinister Six, uh, that Spider-Man's uh, suit gets heavily damaged. This is the undamaged uh, classic suit or the repaired one as they are calling it. Now this is something quite unique because this is like, uh, it's called the Noir suit. Uh, back in early 2000s, uh, there were limited series uh, for Spider-Man, X-Men, Luke Cage uh, and some other characters which reimagined them in the era before or roughly around the World War II era, like the 30s and the early 40s. And in that respect, this is more designed uh, to have a stealth look and feel, uh, and its uh, gimmicks that come with it are mostly dealing with uh, stealth tactics. Then we have the Scarlet Spider suit. Now, for this, you need to read Spider-Man Clone Saga. It's one of the controversial stories because uh, the story never uh, was able to uh, fix the broken threads. Uh, this suit was worn by Spider-Man's clone, Ben Riley. This has this suit has gained prominence because of the Clone uh, Clone Saga. Okay, then we have the uh, Spidey Armor Mark II suit. Then we have uh, the Secret War suit. Now, this Secret War suit doesn't come from the 1980s Secret War. Rather, it comes from the later adaptation of it. Uh, this is the Stark suit that we have come across in Spider-Man movies starring to uh, Tom Holland. This is the negative suit. Now, this is the electrically insulated suit. Uh, then there is Spider-Man Armor Mark III. You have the stealth big time suit. Uh, then we have the Fear Itself. This was worn by Spider-Man in the Fear Itself saga. Uh, now this is the suit that he wore before he became Spider-Man. Uh, the origin story of Spider-Man tells us that uh, Peter Parker wanted to earn a few bucks. He decides to enter an exhibition wrestling match. 
and this is what he was wearing then we have the spider punk suit this one is one of my favorites because this is spider-man 2099 uh, miguel o'hara in two in the year 2099 uh, there's a guy called miguel o'hara who is uh, spider-man and this is basically the suit that we uh, were introduced to I am a proud owner of Spider-Man 2099 number one, by the way, so I'll be sharing the picture of it as well. Spider-Man 2099 number one. I bought this back in 1994. These foil covers and all these things, this era is known as the gimmick covers era. Then we have the Iron Spider. Again, this is inspired by the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This is the one that was used with Spider-Man. This is the, uh, the comic book run where Peter Parker is basically owning his own business of scientific research. And uh, this is the suit that he comes up with, which is the Mark IV. Uh, the Velocity suit is the Spirit Spider, which is uh, more affiliated with the Ghost Rider one, oh, the, the Last Stand suit, okay, vintage comic book suit. Now this one is basically the colors, if I look at the color shades and everything, it looks like uh, the one which Steve Ditko had uh, designed because if you look at the color sh uh, shades, uh, they are more towards the uh, darker black side rather than the conventional blue that we come across. This suit, by the way, made its way in um, uh, in The Amazing Fantasy number 15, uh, which introduced Spider-Man to the world. We have the anti ox suit. This is uh, part, uh, this comes about later in the game. Yeah, and this is from the Tobey Maguire movie, movies. And this is the Spider-Man Fantastic Four uh, suit where he ended up wearing a paper bag just to hide his face because for some reason he had lost his mask. Uh, Future Foundation, again. Yeah. So uh, Fantastic Four briefly became the Future Foundation and uh, Spider-Man had actually replaced Johnny Storm uh, as the fourth member of the Fantastic Four. So this was it. Then we have Armor Advanced Suit, okay. Arachnid Rider Suit. This is uh, more of a anime inspired one. Then we have the amazing suit, which is from uh, Andrew Garfield Spider-Man movies. This is the stealth suit, which came, which we saw in uh, Spider-Man and Far From Home uh, when he went up against uh, a spy mission uh, thanks to Mysterio. And then this is the upgraded suit. Again, we saw this in the Tom Holland installment of movies that are there. So thanks for joining in. Uh, my whole objective of making this vlog was, first of all, address the request made by my number one fan. And the other thing is that uh, if one goes through these, uh, the history of behind these suits, it's, it's really quite interesting because it really makes you want to pick up a comic book and read. Just like I ended up uh, reading some of the old books that I have, uh, including uh, Spider-Man 2099. So I hope you enjoyed the Stay vlog. Stay tuned for more. Thank you so much.